Hello, so in today's video we're going to look at the uh, IC Dock Fat Cage. So this is a, a five disc cage. You can put three and a half and two and a half inch discs into it and it uses uh, three five and a quarter inch bays to, to do that. Which is typically you would use it for like a, a DVD player. Nowadays you don't find big hard drives like they used to make in the past. So uh, one thing that you might run into problems is not having enough uh, SATA ports to use all of your discs. And that isn't necessarily a big deal. So this computer here has, uh, I think it's 13 storage bays in it. There's five there. Then one, two, three, four, five, six here. So we're up to 11. Yeah, and then there's uh, 12 and 13 in there for the two and a halfs. So you're not going to find the motherboard that's got 13 uh, SATA ports. This is an old board with seven SATA ports on it, which is kind of unusual. And uh, I'm going to be upgrading this computer in the future, more than likely. And uh, it's not going to have that many ports, so I'm going to have to do something about it. So I don't recommend getting the uh, SATA cards to go in here. What you can do is get a SAS host bus adapter, which will allow you to uh, get uh, either 4, 8, or 16 SATA card or SATA ports, depending how you do it. So they have, each uh, SAS port has uh, four SATA ports on it. You buy one meter cables or half meter cables and they kind of break out and go over to the IC dock. So this is the IC dock here. It's right for standing in the uh, limited light that we have. So you're going to need three power supplies to it. So this is an old uh, Seasonic power supply here and uh, I didn't use up all the power so I just use the Moldex or LP4 to uh, SATA power supply adapters. You get three of them and plug them on. You can go and get from one to two, like two-way adapters if you want, if you don't have enough of these. But you'll need at least uh, two of these Moldex or three power sources to hook up onto there. And then what I've done is I'm just using one SATA cable to it. There's five uh, SATA ports on here is four on the bottom one on the side and uh, as long as you only you want to use a disc where there's a SATA cable in here that is fine it'll work just okay not a big deal so what I do is uh, I have a bunch of discs that I manually copy so I have one here for torrents which is always on and uh, it's gonna die the first then I like movies music and uh, miscellaneous stuff on the other discs and then, like I said, I manually back them up. So if I have like five main discs here, because they're not going to back up a torrent disc, and then I put five uh, backups in the IC dock, then manually copy them. I only need to plug one in at a time. And what I found is that this cage is very loud, just like people say in the uh, reviews, like really loud. Like the computer is silent until you put in a disc. So. I would recommend you just leave the discs popped out. It's fine, it doesn't want to slide down right now. What am I doing wrong? So these are three terabyte. I also have some uh, 10 terabyte discs in here and they all fit. They grab onto the side, which is good because uh, and then also from the bottom for the two and a half inch discs. Because what I found is that the 10 terabyte discs have a uh, different pattern on them. That's another three. This thing doesn't want to pop out. I guess it was already triggered, that's why. So you see the 10 terabytes are a little bit different, but it grabs onto the sides. There's uh, the bolts on the actual face of the aluminum are in a different position on some of the drives nowadays and then I just mark them as to what they are so I don't make any mistakes so previous to that when I was out of space I used a uh, just a USB 3 holder here that gives you some uh, different things extra USB 3 ports then SD card as well, and you can use two and a half and three and a half 
inch discs in here, but there's no cover to keep the dirt out of them when they're not in use, which is kind of funny. So that was what I've been using for the last few years, but I always worried about the computer or the uh, discs being knocked over. They're kind of wiggling around. You have to turn it off and on separately. And then USB 3 is pretty fast, and but you're limited in length unless you use an optical cable. But why not just put the discs inside the machine? So you'll see that there's uh, three lights here. There's actually plastic tubes that come from the uh, circuit board in the back to transmit the light to the front. There's two vacant holes on the front as well. One is for over temperature and the one I'm not sure what it's for, but none of them do anything. So you pull out the discs. And you can just keep your backups in a different location if you want. This computer has a cover on the front. It doesn't matter if there's anything in it or not. Take a look inside. So you can see there's some holes in the back for airflow. I never had a fan on my hard drives when they were in the uh, bigger cage here. If I can get this open one-handed or not. That's kind of tricky. Oh, we're so close. Got it. So they're pretty far apart. You can see one drive is kind of on its edge because it's a 10 terabyte and I can't screw it down. i got to make an adapter to make it fit in there. So I've never had any issue with heating with them. You can see the connector in there, the power and data at the same time. And you can see the fan blades in the back there. So slide this back in. Eventually we'll get around to turning this computer on. It's easy to put these in when the, uh, they're empty. I guess the order doesn't really matter. So only one of them is going to work. And then you can just close that before you put it in all the way. So like I said, the, the hard drives won't spin when they're uh, out at this position. 10 terabytes of a squeeze. And then the uh, fan won't run on the IC dock either when it's like that. So I just flip the cover back over. This is an old Antec case. So I think we've looked at everything we need to look at. You can control the speed for high, low, or off for the fan in there, but they're pretty close together. It's a 92 millimeter fan, so I'm just going to leave the fan on. So I'll fire this up. So it's pretty much silent at this point. This is booting up, it's, there's nothing connected to it right now. So the drives don't need to be rated to use this cage. This cage. I'm not sure how it would work if they were. I'm sure it would be fine, but I just don't have any experience in that. I do the uh, manual backups because this hard drive does all the work 24-7. These ones only run if you're watching movies or listening to music, so they're on once in a while. And then these discs here are only on for an hour a month, so they'll last forever. That's the way I look at it. Rather than trying to run raids or mirrors or something like that, let's do a manual copy, and you're going to be good for a long, long time. So now <clears throat> this computer is running, there's a fan in the back, fan on CPU, two fans on the top, and there's nothing, there's just a spot for two 100 millimeter fans there, but they're not in. So now I'll put in this disc. So you can do a hot swap. If you can hear that. You'll feel the air going through when the light comes on. It'll turn color if you're reading from the disc. You could pop it off, off when it's running as well, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't dare lose any data. I just turn the computer off when I want to disconnect it. So 
so we can pull the dip switch off here. Jumper. You know, it's actually pretty quiet when it's just on low. That's all right. I'm gonna leave it on low. I don't need to buy a Noctua fan. So it's a bit messy. There's lots of cables in here. So that's uh, about it. I'm not gonna bother hooking up the computer to show you data speeds or anything like that. I'm sure it's just fine. You could probably find that in other videos. So if you wanna know any more information, uh, I'll consider making a second video. But like I said, you can just, if you don't have uh, <clears throat> enough SATA ports and you want this dock, that's okay. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could buy one of those host bus adapters with the external SAS, then have a second computer case just loaded up with these docks beside it. You wouldn't need a motherboard. All you need is a power supply. And you could run uh, a bunch of disks in a second computer case as well instead of buying a NAS enclosure. So that's something you might want to think about doing if you have uh, spare computer parts. So, thank you for watching.